Hi, everybody! Just call it out to somebody because it's day 38 and I don't know where anybody is. Day 38 in quarantine and I thought I would get some taste test videos done today and boom, let the drinking begin. I don't knock stuff over. Um, yeah, so I'm not a huge drinker. I do enjoy a tipple now and then, but I'm not a big drinker. But um, after the holidays, I did a little shopping at the discount area. So, um, yeah, boom, today we got three things to try. So uh, we've got some Winter Jack Tennessee Whiskey Cider. We've also got some Old New England Pumpkin Spiced Nog with real pumpkin. And we've also got the Tippy Cow Peppermint Bark Drink. What is it? It's chocolate and sweet peppermint finish. So it's like a, it's like peppermint bark. Oh, so um, yeah, I'm excited. So first of all, I have a sweet tooth. You should know that. So let's go down to the counter and let me tell you about each one of these. Boo! Whoop. All right, let's let the craziness ensue. Here's what we got going on for you. All right, you guys, we got our three amigos here. We got the uh, Tippy Cow Rum Cream Peppermint Bark. I'll just go from right to left since that's what I'm reaching from right now. Uh, just to let you know, this was $5.49, $7.49, Nine forty nine. So they're all marked down half price. That's why I love the after holidays specials and uh, you know waiting five months to get to a taste test video because you know the world is exploding. Anyway, back to Tippy Cow Rum Cream. It says peppermint bark, luscious chocolate with sweet peppermint finish. Rum with real dairy cream, natural and artificial flavors, and caramel color. Now I saw that at first and was like, oh okay, it's brown underneath. Let's give it a little shake. Um, let's see if I can read right here. It says, peppermint bark has long been a tradition for the holiday gatherings and shared with family and friends throughout the season. A blend of smooth, creamy chocolate with sweet peppermint finish it is a holiday memory never forgotten. Enjoy it straight or on the rocks uh, or in a steaming cup of coffee or hot chocolate or on a Tuesday during quarantine. Um, doesn't tell much about ingredients on here. Duke, duke. No, it does not. Maybe alcohol doesn't need to. Or calories. So there you go. Peppermint bark. Okay. We also have the New England Pumpkin Spice Nog. Uh, this is blended whiskey, straight bourbon whiskey, rum, brandy, natural and artificial flavors, and artificial colors. This is 15%. Does it say what this one was? It says 14%. Okay. So this is 14. This is 15. Uh, this delicious nug is prepared with farm fresh dairy imported brandy imported rum and bourbon based blended whiskey base. I like how it says base. We have added select spices and sweet pumpkin and pumpkin. Okay, so it's not just pumpkin spices and pumpkin to traditional dairy base to bring an unforgettable treat to your holiday season. All dairy ingredients have been homogenized. Shake well, serve chilled, may reduce alcohol. To reduce alcohol content, remain delightful flavors, simply use one part fresh milk and two parts of the nog. Yeah, at 15%, I don't think we need to do that. And finally, we have Jack Daniels Winter Jack. It says uh, Tennessee Cider, a seasonal blend of apple cider liqueur, and, or liquor, liquor, not liqueur, liquor. Uh, Jack Daniels Tennessee Whiskey, 15% alcohol, 30 proof, caramel color added. And... Lynchburg, Tennessee. Does it have a story like everybody else? Oh, there is something there is something special about every season in Lynchburg. Even the cold in winter has its own charm. We like to spend it gathered with family and friends as really hard to read. Sharing a warm Tennessee cider crafted from an original family recipe. Now we are proud to share the tradition with you. You. And it's got a nice little bottle. So there we go. All right, enough yapping about it. Let's taste them. Boo! Whoop, and we're back. And now you know that I shop the bargain section of the grocery store all the damn time. But yeah, when you find stuff after Christmas for 50% off and it's not like alcohol goes bad and you forget about it because it's in the back of the cupboard and you've got a million things to do taste test videos on, you just got to go with what you got. All that being said, let's get started. Okay, you guys. So I've got three cups here, three semi-small dessert cups. But this is like a dessert, right? Um, yeah, I'm just having this uh, room temperature. Let's just get started with some old-fashioned 
new, let's see, old New England pumpkin spiced nog freshly made. Where was this from? Do I even know where this is from? I don't even know where this is from. Oh, it's from Boston. It is old New England. All right. That's a lot of cracks. All right, let's give it a smell. Smells like eggnog. Doesn't smell spicy. I don't know about you, I love eggnog. I love fresh eggnog. So to have it in a bottle is a little bit weird, but you know, whatever, whatever. Ooh, let's go for it. It's a Friday, let's go for a tipple. All right, let's give it a smell again. Still smells like eggnog, smells creamy. You can smell the rum and the brandy. It's a little bit thick. It's not super thick, you see that? Hi, that's Friday. Mm. That's really good. Sometimes you you just never know. Like there's the one that I get at Costco normally during the holidays. It's probably a little bit more alcoholic than this one, but this is very smooth. I think it's funny that they called it um, pumpkin spiced because if you ask me, when I make my own eggnog, I put nutmeg and cinnamon in it already. So it's already pumpkin spiced. Um, yeah, it's good. Um, you can see by coating the glass, it is kind of thick. It does have cream, um, but I don't see any spice bits. So, ooh, I've got a little going on, a little, little of the alcohol breath. Yeah, that's, that's up my alley. If you don't like eggnog, you're probably not going to like this. Um, it's very creamy. Um, it definitely has some booze in it. So, yeah, I'm all right with that. I might just drink some of that. So, um, friends have been, and I have been getting together on Fridays. I just knock the camera. Just knock it. Um, we've been having online Zoom happy hours, so that'll be perfect for today. All right, let's go. Let's go for the Jack because I'm not such a whiskey person, but it does say it's cider, so it does have whiskey. So eh, I'm a little torn because I don't really like whiskey. I'm not really a whiskey guy, but. Um, I'm excited that it has it's cider based, so um, I'm gonna have to cut this one open because the the seal and the other one doesn't need to be cut. So let's pop it. No crack there. Oh, you guys, that smells. That smells appley. It smells like ran Jolly Rancher. Jolly Rancher. Hmm. All right. Let's give it a little pour. Let's get a little pour on this one. Just a little. That's, that's probably a lot. All right, let me put the lid on so I don't spill crap everywhere because that would be bad because now that I'm drinking. And, you know, it only takes like one drink for me since I don't drink much. Um, yeah, Winter Jack. Oh, Winter Jack. I love the bottle. It's got a little house on it. It's cute. All right, let's give it a little sippy, 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 sippy. Really smells like... Jolly Rancher. Now, if you don't know what Jolly Rancher is, there are little hard candies that are very intensely flavored. So, everybody that has had a Jolly Rancher has had a green Jolly Rancher, which is the apple. All right, shut up, taste. Ooh. Now, I'm not a whiskey man, but that could make me a whiskey man. I was expecting it to have a, a, a bite, a hit, and it's very smooth. I mean, it's very smooth. Oh, that could be dangerous because it's sweet and smooth. Yeah, I like that a lot. It's gotta, gotta wipe the, gotta wipe the mustache. How's your quarantine going? Tell me a story. What are you drinking? All right, let's go for number three. This is the Tippy Cow, which I think is a really funny name. Tippy Cow Rum Cream. Now, I'm a rum man. If I'm going to have a drink, I'm going to have a Mai Tai. I'm going to have something with rum in it. So this actually tickles my fancy. Now, I noticed that there's some stuff at the bottom. It's been sitting in my cupboard for a while. So I'm going to shake the bits at the bottom because I want all the, all the bits. All right, that looks better. So there you go. You can see it's brown. You can see the clear bottle there, the bubble. The bubble. All right, let's crack it and lack it. Ooh, that's a good crack. It smells creamy. That's a smell I know. 
It doesn't smell very minty. It doesn't smell like bark. It smells... It smells like ice cream. Is that weird? All right. Let's get the old tippy cow. Tippy, 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 tippy cow. Oh, let's get a... I don't want to mix it. Let's get a... Let's get a tippy from a fresh cuppy. Oh, it's pretty thick. It's thick like the eggnog. All right, and again, gonna put the lid back on because we don't wanna have any problems. I'm trying to think, not like butter pecan ice cream, but something, I'm gonna smell it. All right, so there you go. You can see it's a pretty thick drink. Maybe not quite as thick as the nog, but it is pretty thick. Oh, that's dangerous. That is super dangerous for me. And by that, I mean, it's delicious and I drink a lot. It's got a nice creaminess to it. It's very sweet. It's definitely very sweet. It coats the mouth. It has a good flavor. It's very lightly mint. I mean, on the scale of, you know, zero to 10 on the mint, it's like a 0.5. Um, it says with a mint finish. I taste more alcohol finish than mint finish. If I was having a fancy party, that would be a really good thing to entice people to the fireside. Have a little, have a little cocktail by the fireside. By the way, look at the curls today. Curls, curls, curls and curls. Okay, now I've been drinking, now I'm just talking. All right, you guys, so um, yeah, just a little review of the eggnog. There you go, eggnog. I give it a seven eight. The Winter Jack, I'd give like a nine. It's pretty good, and I'm not a Jack Daniels drinker, but I would totally drink that again. And this, I'd give an eight nine. It's pretty good. If you like sweet cocktaily, uh, Christmassy drinks, then definitely the 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 bark would would be your flavor. I just we're trying to remember. So we had fourteen and fifteen and fifteen. So there you go. So I'll look pretty close. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you want to come back again, hit the subscribe. I'd love to make the channel bigger so I can do more for you guys instead of shopping the bargain section. Not that anything's wrong with shopping the bargain section because I do it all the time. Um, I'm glad you guys are here. I hope you're well in quarantine. Oh, my darling quarantine. Doing well here. Trying not to go too crazy. Trying to make some fun videos for you guys because on day 38, what else do you got left? All right. Um, I'm Robert Jones. This is Eudemonius Mark II. Thanks for stopping by. Love to have you come back for more. By the way, a couple days ago, I posted a wine making video. As long as we're on alcohol, have you seen the wine making video? I made plum wine, golden plum wine. It's not as hard as you think, you guys. It's pretty easy. And at the end of this, we're going to have a party drinking plum wine. So, all right, you guys. I will talk to you next time. Take care. Bye. Thank you.